Am I on the air? What I have, I live in a split row home, and our freezer is... I'm having difficulty hearing you. Oh, how about now? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now, he crawled into an old freezer we had down the basement, and he, he sleeps in there, and recently we had, we used the freezer now, and he still sleeps in there, but he's okay. He's, he's still alive. Is this bad for his health to be frozen like this? Not, not frozen to death, just cold. Fuck. Well, yeah, how was the cat? Oh, uh, he's only about two years old. About two years old. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, you can, it's like a person getting uh, exposed to excessive cold weather. Yeah, yeah if, if he gets exposed because to too much cold weather for too long. I wrote my name, I made myself and I named myself, and it took a long time to make this one. Well, here it goes. Hope you like it. Yeah. I grab one and tell you, so she bought me hot Cheetos, that was 99 cents. What? Hot Cheetos. Yeah. Hope you like this. Make sure you subscribe or comment. You don't have to subscribe. Please comment. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. Fuck. But please comment. Yo. Thank you for joining me. Yo. Everyone. I wanted to get in with a little different intro. You know, normally you would get pumped up. And excited, play yeah. something with some high BPMs to get ready for a, a fantastic show. But you know, that's not how we do it here. You know, we're doing something a little, <laughs> a little different today. We don't, you know, bring that energy down. That's right. And, uh, play some deep, methodical kind of, kind of uh, mood-inducing tones in your ears. You know what I mean? That's this right. This is proven right here. This helicopter noise. It's not the news chopper for Channel 5. It's not. This is uh, psychological warfare sounds above your head all Yo, day. Yo, triangulate. I am so fucking happy. Yeah, it works. Uh, I wonder why. Oh, I didn't have my mask on, Brian. Ex excuse me. You haven't worn a mask the entire time. I know, but I got these new cute ones that oh. have a little cat mouth on. 
Oh, hey, Neko means that. cat. Meow. Um. Yo, I'm me so wow. Yeah, I just wanna, I wanna take that off now. I don't want that. Good, one. good. Uh, but I am happy. Uh, I did hear that. Uh, our masks are in, so they are. You will a be lot getting of, those soon at Mega Sixty Four. A lot of new things coming out of our warehouse here. Um, we had a so, successful Mega Sixty Four. That's day. right. Last Thursday, Woo, uh, the eleventh of June, we we had a wonderful Mega Sixty Four day. You boys put on a what wonderful, a wonderful stream. I'm proud of you guys. I came into the chat a few times and lurked a little bit. So I'm happy that everybody was able to chill and have a good time. And, I want to uh, smoke with cigarettes real quick. Yo, you know Tyrone? Uh, yeah. He came here. He's smoking with cigarettes. Yeah, he drinks too. Yeah. Oh. All the time, dude. You smoke weed? You remember that YouTube video of that little kid at the skate park and he's got the, the those chronic socks with the weed leaf on him? Yeah. And someone oh, with dude. a camera goes up to him and they're like, "Hey, you smoke weed?" Yeah. As oh, dude, I think a, I have a lot. That. A he lot. Goes, that's a all. Lot. He, that's what he answers. <laughs> that's what he answers. He says a lot. Hold a on. Lot. I, oh, I wonder if that's still in my favorite. I bet he fucking does that little. Dude, he definitely Orange does County. now. Like that fucking six one three kid <laughs> from uh, uh, Toronto, bitch, motherfucking yeah, Canada fucking, trick. That's some uh, Chino California shit. Dude. What should I drive? It was a fine. Oh, oh sorry guys. Hopefully that doesn't fuck our shit up. Ah. Uh, uh, that was my uh, that was my what YouTube was that? page. That was the intro oh, to We Go Back. <laughs> a boom, rah, da, so if you guys uh, are are That's feeling good. that uh, ten year itch like a lot of folks are, who are also quarantined like Desmond was yeah, in the hatch, Brian. I just dropped the link to my YouTube there. Um, you sorry for any insensitive shit that you might find on there now. Obviously, <laughs> uh, most of this stuff is from ten years ago. Keep bumping into me. Keep bumping into me, Kelba. Uh, for shut real. up, Kelba, for real. Boy, You're get just, out my um, face. You're just giving a little reminder that you did a whole uh, Lost podcast, a yeah. companion podcast. Oh, yes. I know. It's funny. Sean's watching Lost again for the first time, I think, of rewatching it. And yeah. now it's making me want to do it because I've never watched it through a second time. Uh, I think, I think honestly, it's, uh, it's something worth watching if you haven't watched it in a while, uh, especially if, uh, if the Hold only on. time you watched it was – Excuse me. Hey. No, no, don't let, don't, don't mind me. Uh, only, uh, especially if the only time you watched it was when it first aired, because when, as silly as it sounds, it's a lot like uh, these guys grew up watching manga. They grew up watching anime. They, they are reading manga and watching anime. They, uh, they fucking are comic book fans. So they wrote this like a fucking comic book. So it has Evangelion moments where yeah. if you go back and now you understand the story, you can see so much more. And, uh, and, and, and see a little and, clearer and and you can yeah you don't get impatient with some of the shit like oh I just want to know what happens next well sometimes you know it's a 24 episode season and they want you to have some uh, you know they need to fill those time it's not their fault there's definitely yeah like the network at play with that kind of show I mean it was on ABC yeah now I don't know if there's a filter going on but while I let this wear off I want to explain uh, we're playing GTA on uh, the new PS5, we've got a dev kit Look here. Look at that, man. This is a beautiful rendering, if you can see this. This is um, the brand new announced uh, last Thursday for PlayStation 5. Coming out with a banger right out the gate. GTA on PS5. GTA 5 on PS5, I Brian. can't believe it, I mean, man. You know, they, uh, cross-generational by three gaming platforms i mean we're doing it they, boom 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 not only did it jump up from console to pc back from pc to to, to console Look we're now that. getting it in the most Look at my pristine 4k hdr ps5 dev dice. kit looking like a u beautiful quality i, Look at that, guys. I, I love Look at that everyone uh i still love this game you know my cousin twilight she streamed a little oh, bit of this yeah. not too long Thankfully, ago i wasn't here for that yeah that was rough but uh she uh, kind of reminded me how fun this is to play. And uh, I've been playing a lot at home. I've been playing a lot since. So I thought, what a way to bring it back to the P PS. We'll bounce around between story mode and whatever, and we'll take your Discord calls. Uh, no real agenda to the show today. Lots of uh, things to talk about. So if you want to talk about some things, we could talk about it in the Discord. So Brian's dropping that link. 
I am now, um... I think, do I have the mouse? Oh, yeah. I gotta blow up that chat, because I'm looking over here at the IRL chat, bro. Oh, nobody can read it. I'm seeing a problem over here, dude. Full chat, like, how can we read that? Not even the full chat or the IRL chat. Oh, and the wheel's in effect, too. So oh, spin the wheel. We also have that. Um, you were telling me about the date being the 17th, and maybe I had something to do today. Yeah, I was asking you, um before we went live because i realized that uh you had this wonderful you know long-standing trip to japan planned you wanted to go there part of it was you know you want to go back to japan um the other part was i was gonna make a vacation made a vacation around the uh release of the new evangelion movie 3.1 plus 1 point whatever final uh, one more final i need you i don't know yeah hey we're doing another one come join us 4.0 evangelion we're doing another one i was supposed to fly out Today, today, Trish and I, we were flying. Today, we, it was the seventeenth. We were gonna fly out for two weeks. It was like, oh man, I'm I'm gonna stay longer than I've ever stayed before. I'm gonna visit multiple cities. We were gonna have it all planned out. Well, oh boy, wouldn't you know? Uh, uh we got hit with everything. We got hit with, and uh, flight restrictions. The whole country of Japan was closed, and I didn't know. And I guess Brian, you didn't know. I got my flight back finally the money yeah because they were holding out on oh my god yeah you would call and it was like yeah we can't do anything until like i think 48 or 64 hours 32 hours some 72 hours that's what it was and it was like "Mm, that's a little tight window like that seems weird but before I even got there, I got an email, and it was like, oh, we took care of it, full refund, everything. So, Good. congrats. <laughs> Everyone did right, and again, by procrastinating, I uh, got everything taken care of, didn't have to do shit. Good. It's, uh, it works out well that way. This is, one of the, this is one of the last V8 uh, enforcers, Brian. Really? Yeah. It's uh, scoured the wastelands for many a millennia, and now it's in my hands. Look at that fucking hood scoop. See, normally I don't mind first-person driving, but you got that the armored window, so you can't see shit. I know. Girl. I was just thinking. I was like, I do. Nice fucking driving, though, dude. I do. This is all I do in GTA, man. Oh, it's so much fucking fun to do this. I will get into some shit with the police, yeah. and then I will just jettison my ass to uh, victory, and I'll hide under a bridge. Yeah. Then I'll just go start some shit again. I got my online... Uh, shooting down do i have oh i just have the am i flipping off or am i i forget shooting. i think if you're oh, oh there, we go. there, there we you go. go oh shit i don't know why it wouldn't do it in first person that classic camera too the movie style camera is really fun yeah it is just to see how long i can keep it going whoops it not, is not very long. way too hard because you can't see where you're going but it you looks can't like see a if fucking cars and... awesome news movie like uh, dude uh, and then there's that fi- the, there is that uh filter which you can turn on Oh, yeah, that actual news overlay? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Are we jamming to uh, some Channel X? Although, I don't know, like, with recent Twitch streaming oh, and music shit, yeah. like, dude, is this game even, like, safe anymore? I don't even know. I really don't. Do you know if we have a Discord caller, my we friend? We do. We got two people in the Discord. I'll drop that link again if oh. anybody else wants to call in. So we are we're playing PS5, uh, GTA 5, and uh, they announced at the beginning of that press conference they are dumping a million bucks in everyone's May's bank account. So I have yet to actually check. Oh, I should um, go do that. My bank. Let's Let's look. I think... I heard something like that. Money and services. Yeah, go all the way to the bottom. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right. This interface is always so clunky. When I was getting chased down, I'm trying to deposit money real quick. What do I got? I got 52. No, I don't got any, like, extra. Do I have to, like, sign up for something now? Fuck. <laughs> um, no, go to your deposit. Account I got nothing on me. Oh. Uh, so my account withdraw? balance. And that's what I had before. Go to your withdraw. Withdraw. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm, give me five hundred. Yeah, it bucks. might be. It might be something you have to like. I I never held on to any money because there's no point. Yeah, if you die in online, they can steal that. Like, yeah, so whatever money you're holding, so immediately, so this is their way of making sure that you're not duping money, by making you have to put your money in a bank uh, over five thousand. 
because they they don't want you to have. Well, I never somebody, thought about it that yeah, way. Yeah, so you have to put it in their bank, and then you can use it anywhere. You don't have to take out money from the ATM to buy yeah. shit or do anything. This, this game is, is just, well built. Yeah, it, and go figure. It's been supported for fifteen an, years. It's or whatever, an MMORPG, seven. and it's really actually fucking cool. Um, they put so much into it, and yes, there are a lot of packs right now online for purchase. But you can also just r drive around and grind it out and have some fun with it. Like, yeah. people complain. It's like, oh, you have to go and grind and do all this shit. And it's like, what the fuck else are you doing in GTA but driving around and shooting shit up? So play your random online matches. Do all the fucking shit. Drive around. There are so many things to collect in online, too. There are like a hundred little collectibles and things insurance. to shoot. How can we help so you? it's fucking crazy. I got to re... Um, I got to make a claim. I got to re... Okay. Yeah, okay. Re uh, re download my good card. This is like my backup. Yeah, you know this is the Sunday driver. Yeah, you got enforcer. insurance on it. Yeah. Uh, my main gig back where I got the hood paint. That's back home. We're gonna go get him later. But I want to head to this little shootout thing because the online game really is supported well. Mm -hmm. With these new updates or like game modes I never played with bikes and racing equipment I've never had access to. So. I know you can buy a lot of shit too with the money they're giving away. I gotta figure out how to do that. Did anyone in the IRL chat figure that out, Brian? Uh, no. They didn't? Damn. There's nothing going on in the chat even. It's all uh, a bunch of bullshit. Do we have that Discord caller though? Oh yeah, we do. I forgot. To... We're gonna talk to Charles Big Boy. What up, Charles Big Boy? Let's keep it on track, Charles. I'm gonna keep it going. I'm getting it. I'm getting it on track myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna my, keep. My bitch chat is always behind yeah. this uh, Discord. This guy's. He knows what's up. Oh yeah, dude. What's up? Uh, is it Charles? Can I call you Charles? You can call me anything. Call you anything. And everything. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Well, I'll call you Charles. I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump in this survival uh, game here. But uh, what can I do for you on this fine evening? I was just calling and send Posy vibes y'all's oh, way. Them. You've been a big help to me, and I'm sure many other people throughout this this trying era we're a part of. Do so. you think that this these times, Brian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's these times where the artists they uh, they need to get out in front of their audience, and if they weren't equipped to do it digitally, then they fall by the wayside. And this is the dawn of the digital artist, Brian. It is. We're you know? providing a service here, as you now are hearing here from Charles Big Boy. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Charles, yeah, for dude. saying that. Oh, yeah, man. Well, thank we're, you. We're doing, would you say, uh, the Lord's work? I would say that you could say the Lord's work. You could. You could, you could say the, uh, the, the the chakra balance. The you could see that it could be the demons wave. doing. Who knows? Oh, yeah. You could say Satan's, Satan's will. Don't say it. Uh, but thanks for the posy vibes, Charles. Absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna use these going in, and I want to impart on you a little word of wisdom, a little word of encouragement. Okay. Okay. Look at it closely. Yeah. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> I'm gonna just wait for this to load in. That was good. Any minute now. That was a good call. Load in. Did that was you good. like I, that call? Hey, Charles. I love it. What do you think about, we should do like a news broadcast. Hi, I'm high above the 805 freeway here, coming to you from PPS Copter 7. Uh, sunny skies. Oh shit, you're loading in. Loading in with a small SMG and some thighs that'll blind even an already blind man. It's hard to come up with a reference that'll... that'll... Oh yeah, I could do like, you know, uh, in The Simpsons they had Artie Pie in the Sky. 
you remember AFK. That? Hey guys, it's already pie in the sky here over the interstate. What? Was there a Simpsons? Of course there was a yeah. Simpsons. Oh yeah, dude. so good. Um, oh, you know what I I have? Uh, when I play this at home, I have little paddles that go under and they attach. Oh. And you can auto run and do all this other cool shit. Did you get the official ones? No, uh, they were sold out so fast. I never dude, got Dude, is that oh, still why am I getting sold up? out? Why am I getting up? Watch out, dude. You're going to die here if you don't kill some I know, people. This I know. Is a, I love survival. Survival is one of my favorite modes in this game. I don't think I've ever completed one, but they're just, hey, just shoot. Just fucking run around, yeah. shoot. When you're done, collect your ammo, armor. And it's armor. cooperative. It's not yeah. competitive, which is, you know, I'm not good at competitive. I'm good at we'll kill the fucking computer together, guys. Yeah, I just want to play. I want to play uh, uh, together. I want to play co-op together against online. I I get, like, it's fun to do competitive, but, like, competitive after a while is just it, too fucking stressful. I don't want to play that way. Fuck you. I, mi I miss oh, that kind of shit. Why am I taunting him? Oh, here they come. Yeah, Itnac, you do still have to tap X to run on consoles. Yeah. You can't do all all the fucking quality of life upgrades they made in um, oh, fuck. Red Dead. All, all the yeah. fucking, like, tap to run and, like, oh, my God, all that shit. That's the biggest advantage of those yeah. panels I have, it, those paddles, I mean, is yeah. that you just hold one of them down and hold down X to run for that. It's literally, a, like, a, a hardware a quality of life upgrade. Yeah. That's so funny. B Kareem does bring up a good point is that sometimes there are people on on the fucking game that are like just too fucking good. Oh, yeah. And they uh and, and they like they focus on you and just fucking grief the shit out of you. Yeah, and online? It really sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really but sucks. You just jump into a different server. I mean that's happened to me just being in the world online. Yeah, and I, and I, and I'll do uh, that too. But it's hard when you're playing like I'll, I'll be playing with Jasmine and we'll we'll be trying to do yeah. something and somebody it's just fucking when griefs we us. Yeah, yeah, and it just sucks. Oh, like, hey, like now we both have to try to switch servers and then invite another person. It's just a fucking bitch. Yeah. So don't pain. grieve people. I know that it's part of like daily well, missions. No. People that grieve aren't gonna listen to you. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's a certain type of grieving, griefing. Yeah. I'm in grief right now. Me grief, too. Grief stricken. Who got lasers? This fucking guy is getting uh... busy. Is this a FAMAS I'm firing? I think it might be. He could may be. Died. Oh shit. Could be real. Could be real. You could do it. Your dad could do it. Now I'm playing Counter Strike, guys. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, isn't it cool that you can like make this a first person game? Yeah. I love, dude, playing this in VR, doing first person shit is the best. Um, honestly, the first person is almost better for everything but running around. Like, I, I wish it, it would just go into first... Um, there was a game on... Fuck, was it Xbox? An old-school James Bond game? Let the auto click in. Um, the auto-aim is sick. It was third-person until you had to shoot. Then it was first-person. And I don't wow. remember what it was called right now. Um, but it, was, it wasn't it was rated very well. But I liked that the rest of the game, the exploring, the running around... You said it was a James Bond game? Yeah. I don't remember what it was called. This is cool. Um, it was. I think it was one of the ones with Daniel Craig in it. That barrel roll, first person perspective. Oh yeah, you can turn that off if you need to. I like it. We'll um, do it. What, was it a Ubisoft tactical game? Because uh, another game that I think. Oh, man, what was it? I don't know, man. Is the chat helping you out or no? No. no. I don't think from Russia with love was a game. <laughs> I love... What's your favorite Bond theme? I gotta go with... Um, didn't Duran Duran do one? Oh, it was a game, but no, it wasn't It wasn't that game. Bond theme? Um, Chris Cornell did one of the later ones. Uh, I don't give a fuck about the Bond no movies. It's one interesting. Else here can save you. I think he did that one. It was the uh, Casino what's, Royale one. What's the Duran Duran one from the 80s? It was like... Um, View to a Kill. It's actually a good song. No, yeah. Oh, hey, and there you do a kill. Every Bond theme is a great fucking song. Yeah. Um, I guess. There was a Madonna clunkers, weren't there, or something like that. It might have been Nightfire, Goof Dude. I Night think. of Fire. I started fucking searching Goof Dude instead of Nightfire. <laughs> Don't you love the brain and all of its workings? Uh huh. Yeah, was it Nightfire? Call out of cover. Yeah, Sorry. I think it might have been. 
Because I feel like there were moments where you would run around. No, it, it doesn't look like there were parts where you would run around in third person. But I just remember there were parts you'd run around in third person, and then when you had to shoot, it would be in first person. And I think they also did a uh, Resident Evil game like that, too. Uh, uh, well, Crisis? I don't know. Umbrella Core? That shooter, tactical shooter game? That I don't think it was, it was all third person. I thought maybe you could go into first person. Maybe, yeah, maybe you could. You could when you aimed. Yeah. Yeah, because they were trying to make that like an eSport or something. That was a weird fucking game, man. Live and Let oh. Die was a good one. Dude, uh, I w too ballsy going in. The Adele one was very good. Die Another Day by Madonna was probably my favorite. That was, hey, and that was also a very good Bond a movie. That was a very good Bond movie. Do you like the Bond films? I just oh, don't. Oh, I love them. I just don't know. It's it comes from being it's a family thing. Like every oh, every year shit. because they were on TBS or whatever it was on cable, we would watch them as a family around Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, okay. And my mom also loved. I mean, growing up at that time, like you know, like Sean Connery and all like that kind of thing. Like he was like you know the guy of that era. Yeah. So yeah, like um, there's a lot of attachment to that. But then yeah, they're just fun kind of like global events like i don't um, even know like you people have their favorite bond like sean connery or yeah. roger moore or whoever like my favorite even, was sean connery pierce for a brosnan long time. i don't even i don't even have a favorite bond because i have like l that little of uh i guess knowledge i know more about golden eye for n64 yeah. than i do about the, <laughs> the oh, yeah. james bond film franchise and, and I dude i wouldn't know as much if it weren't yeah, for golden eye uh, honestly, keeping me like interested in them at the right age. Cause oh, I was, like, from Goldeneye. Yeah, because yeah, when Goldeneye that. came out as a movie, it was cool. But I played the game more than I watched the movie, sure. uh, much like many people. And then it was like, oh, now I have a better familiarity with all these characters. Because remember, they had all the extra characters that I had like kind of also seen when I watched the movies as a kid. They had Oddball and or Odd Job and yeah, yeah. Uh, Jaws and everything. So no one was allowed to play with Odd Job. Yeah, because he was too short and he couldn't. What's this him. shit? This dude, is Metal fuck Gear kill shit. Him. Fucking kill him. Fuck this is Metal gotta, Gear yeah, shit. Yeah, dude. Bro. Dude, I'm getting. Arrive to oh! LZ. Um, no. Timothy Dalton was good, but the best original Bond, hands down, asses up, Sean Connery. Fucking no, no. Hands down, asses up. You know that Sean no, likes the fuck. Yeah, no fucking questions about it. Sean Connery was what everybody tried to be after him until, until Daniel Craig. And Daniel Craig redefined the role. Sometimes she has to have the last word and you let her. <laughs> you give her the last word. You give her the last word. She wants to say it again and get into a real provocative you situation. You want to get in a real provocative situation. Yeah, check oh, out. Check that out. doesn't age well. It's a great interview with Sean Connery <laughs> and Barbara Walters. Uh, yeah. Sean Connery talks funny and Barbara Walters talks funny. Uh. They both have a very easily intimidated <laughs> voice. Well, what do you mean by a provocative uh, situation? Well, I mean you've given her the last word. Different That's, time, man. Wow. Different, different time. Wow, Sean. He's Sh still kicking, right? He's still yeah. alive? Oh, dude. He's he just doesn't come outside of the... I mean, he's got to be The echo 90, chamber. Right? He's got to be living in a hermetically sealed bubble, right? I mean... He's 89 years old. What's quality of life like? 89 years old. And you know it was rough probably fucking our, living. You know what? Probably all right for him because being, he's... Ooh, being alive in the 50s and 60s was pretty rough, man. Yeah. Smoking and drinking and Let's just see. the way... I mean, he's probably Paul got fucking uh, 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 vaccine scars in his arm. <laughs> Dude, yeah, who knows? Man. He's probably barely hanging on. Sean Connery. Fuck. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I think that was the last movie he ever did. It was the last film I watched. No, it was, the, it was. It was actually, yes. You know, Burt Reynolds is still kicking, hanging on. He did like a yeah. car show, and that was the first thing he did in like 15 years or something. Didn't look too well. <laughs> no. Death, well, death comes for us all, folks. Well, nobody looks good when your body's holding on. Time the Destroyer. When your body's easing itself to stay alive. This just in, time, the crusher of all hopes and dreams not accomplished within it. Okay, let's uh, let's go kill some fools. Slipping. Me and my, yes. Me and my enforcers are here to catch some fools slipping. 
And I want to... Yeah, let's keep the bullpup. We're doing well with it. Yeah, the bullpup is always a good What's rifle. this beast, though, dude? I oh, do like the combat this, MG, but the bullpup is pretty nice. I want something with a scope, but I ain't got no scope. Oh, yeah. Burt Reynolds died, dude. I thought so. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah, dude, like two years ago. Thank Bert, you, Itnack. Burt went? All right, he went. Burt went, went out. dude. Thank God. He I mean, went rolling. Don't stay too long at the party is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't want to live a long life. I want to live a good life. We can get some Elon shit where maybe download your head into a fucking robot. But nah, uh, I don't care. Like, I, I feel like the people who want to live forever are people who are, like, holding on to, like, wanting to... I'm a vampire lover, ...experience though. everything. Hey, dude, I'm man. a goth. Now, though. that's another thing. I just want to suck. Uh, if you want to be life everlasting, blood. then... Blood. I want to suck blood. I didn't... <sighs> yeah. you know, I, I, maybe they heard that I want to suck, and what are they going to think, Brian? I get it. <gasps> Oh, we're gonna get into a Sopranos conversation? I didn't clarify. You know, if you're gonna suck that, then who knows what else you're gonna suck. Suck anything. You suck anything. Hey, guy. I'll suck um, anything right now. Itnak brings up Boogie Nights. Uh, I'm only uh, echoing it because earlier somebody I oh, was... Oh, yeah, Reynolds? Yeah, well, no. Oh, was he? Yeah, he Burt was Reynolds. in that movie. Yeah. He was. He, Wait, was the no, no, no. he was the pornographer. The pornographer. Is that Burt Reynolds? That's Burt slick as slippery fucking grease uh, Holy Reynolds. Holy shit. I always get Remember Burt... his hair's all slick. Yeah, back. I always get Burt Reynolds confused with Tom Selleck. You know, Selleck. it's going to go bad as we keep seeing him go to Nick Games, but. Um, Nick or, Games. Or is it Laker Games? I don't know where the fuck Jack Nicholson lives. Which coast is uh, it? He goes to Lake. Well, he goes to Laker Games? Yeah, he goes to Laker Games. Kobe! Rest oh, in peace. Oh, shit. I'm not doing my job, my sworn duty. To pull One of my and favorite scenes in Boogie Nights, um, and this is what I was gonna bring up because I was uh, referencing it in the chat earlier. Yeah. Is when uh, Heather Graham and Julianne Moore's uh, characters are like getting fucking snow blind off yeah. of just railing, railing, railing. Coats. Let the they let just the cocaine do the talking. Crazy, co yeah. Just can't, you know, can't even see straight. Don't even know what they're talking about. And my favorite line is when uh, Heather Graham is like, when I ask you if you're my mother, you say you're my mother, okay? Are you my mother? You, uh, you're going to say yes, okay? You're so, going to say yes. Are you she my mother? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And it's just this, like, such of a coked up thing, and I, it's one of my favorite. You're yes! my mother. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It's like there's no, oh. when I say you're my mother, you say yes, yes, yes. And it's, there. they are so fucking high. On cocaine, that movie is like... Come on, me and honey? That is such an ode to a drug that, like, I don't know if it's meant to be or not, but it is such an ode to cocaine for They're, its bests and worsts. Speaking of ode to cocaine, I'll play Let the Cocaine Do the Talking. I love that. As we go into our first break, Brian. Let's do it. We'll see you real soon. I let it do the talking for me. What? Oh, come on. It's a class schedule two something.
Oh yeah, we're playing. Oh, we're playing. Oh, Brian, I gotta hide behind these dumpsters. Um, you know, Lord Trapula, Joker isn't a top three performance for Joaquin Phoenix at no? all. At all. For you? No. What? For, what? Okay, for wait, his wait, entire wait, wait, wait. fucking career. Pre wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Preface this. You were looking in the chat. I was looking in the chat. Lord Trapula said Joker isn't even a top three Phoenix performance. I'd put Inherent Vice ahead of it. I haven't seen Inherent Vice, so I can't comment. To yeah, you I haven't Inherent seen that Vice. either. Uh, I've seen The Master. I, I would say that. his performance in The Master is le like, I mean, he does his, he does really well in every movie he's in. So that, so it's really it, that's why it's a it's a great comment to ha to have because you could you could toss any of his movies in there. It's a matter of per personal preference. Um, but I would absolutely agree. I mean, he did a great job as Arthur Fleck, and it was incredible. But you can tell he put a lot more. I shouldn't even suppose for him. There just there was more for, of a connection of his performance in the Master, even as fucking um, I don't Caesar like in fucking Gladiator. Gladiator. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm like the biggest fan of Joaquin. Yeah, I liked him, dude. Even in Sisters Brothers, he was great in that. <sighs> he was fucking incredible in Sisters Brothers. I probably like him most in like. Did he do some weird indie shit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. For a while, I'm trying to think. Uh, like that's like he reminds me of Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 he, not Vincent D'Onofrio. Um, who's the guy? Who's the asshole director who also stars in his own shit? He made Chloe Sevigny blow him in Blue Bunny. Oh, uh, fucking Vin what's that guy? He reminds me of that guy just in a way where it's like. I like how that's how you remember it. Guy's slimy. <laughs> guy's got some slime on him. Uh, blue. The brown money, Vincent brown Gallo. Money. Vincent Guy Gallo. Although I love <laughs> Buffalo '66, but blue I, you could just, is ice cream. You could tell he tormented Christina Ricci in uh, Buffalo '66 too. Oh my god. <laughs> blue bunny is ice cream. Oh, shit, yeah, blue bunny is ice cream. Brown bunny. Brown bunny is the movie where uh, where she fellatiated. Is that even the word? Performed fellatio. 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 Um, yeah, it was one of the few movies. We studied that in my uh, Images Back of Eroticism out. class that I took in university. Uh, you took a class in called university. Yeah. Image of, that sounds hot. We watched um, a, a bunch of films that featured... Nudity? Uh, not just nudity, but yes. some form of... Penetration? Penetration, oh! oral sex, yeah. uh, ejaculation. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, did you guys watch uh, Yoko Ono's famous film? No, we watched, we watched eight songs, um, which is a... I think it's what it's called... Eight songs, eight summers, eight, something like that. Um, fuck, eight songs movie. It's like an indie movie, and it's about this couple who meets at uh, nine Damn. songs. Nine songs. It's like an art romantic film. That's horny. Dog. About this like couple and their relationship and how they go through it. And no, it was just like a, it was a genuine look at the difference between pornography and uh, and erotic images, displaying a film and having it be a. Uh, yeah. Like having that realism in the same way that you back then especially realism caught on camera was like or body big. horror. You know like oh they do their own stunts like you know that kind of shit. Um, yeah, I, I I always had uh I guess a thing for nudity in horror movies. Like we make fun of that yeah. in Mega 64 all the time because I always wanted to have a bunch of people lay down naked in a field. <laughs> for some version episode it would look real creepy if they it would. Walked. If when Rocco and Derek went into the Falls headquarters, there's just a bunch of dead bodies out in a field, like that shot in the Beyond. Oh, dude, you, what we could do with like, that is get those like uh, morph suits and do nah, like. No, dude, you gotta see butt cheeks. There's something that's like viscerally and oh, and like terrifyingly, like so. Uh, like, yeah, I know uncomfortable what you mean. about nudity when you're not supposed to see some nudity. Yeah. And especially if it's like grotesque. Like, yeah, no, uh, you're right. You know, like The Shining, for instance, great use of that. Oh yeah, no, um, you're right. And there, that... there's something like so humanly terrifying about that because everyone's got a body. Yeah, and they I... all, you know. Well, especially on film, um, huh. all, uh, kind of like what you're to play to to play to what you're talking about. Um, 
You know, the idea of the body as an uh, as an obscene thing, N- the naked body as an obscene thing, right? Oh, like, like old old uh, turn of the century, like church influence societies. Yeah, and even even kind of how it is a little bit puritanical. Now. Yeah, rule. like oh, the body is obscene, and like yeah. a nude body is is not it's not decent, or somehow it's it's not it's not good. Um, so yeah, like these movies kind of explore the idea of like, well, what is it? The new, you're right. The naked body is something we all have, but we're used to only seeing it, it displayed in media as a beautiful uh, object. But then when you see it as a normal thing or as a decrepit, pe- like decaying body, it, it like brings on so many, s- such a visceral response. So, um, yeah, it's 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 kind of crazy. It's it's pretty interesting. Uh, another movie we saw was called Il- In the Realm of the Senses. Ooh. Um, which Sounds like I rented a movie called Naked Lunch because I thought it would be like cool and erotic. It, oh, was, it was not. Yeah, dude, Naked Lunch is the shit. That's an awesome <laughs> book. That is a dude um, who, much like uh, William S. Burroughs, is the author yeah. of the book. Much like um, Betty Snell's was a was a man of his time writing writing really awesome. Who? And, um, Betty Snouse? Brett Easton Ellis, the oh. author of American Psycho. Uh, okay. Very analytical, cynical approach to America and, like, you know, not cynical in a bad way, but just, you know, kind of holding it accountable to itself. Um, uh, so Naked Lunch is another really, really good movie. Uh, and it's a Cronenberg. Not when you're 14 and oh. you want to jack off. It was oh. not a great movie. No. Yeah, but that's kind of what you were stuck with. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, my hands were sticky from renting something else. Oh, watching. boy. Yeah, when we, got, when we got that fucking HBO. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, to be Man, 15. I can't tell you how many times I watched The Notebook. Oh, yeah. To be 15 and Home Alone again. Oh, oh. oh, eyes wide shut for that 20 minute scene. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, but looking at it now, uh, I also recognize that uh, nudity in the film industry is very exploited. <laughs> no. Why did the Khaleesi stop showing her titties? Oh, boy. Season one and two, she oh, was topless all the time. And then HBO <laughs> says, no more titty Khaleesi? What the fuck? Like the book, she has her titty out. Everyone trying to justify that shit online. Like, I listen oh, to Howard Stern boy. every morning. He wouldn't shut up. And it's like, you sound like an old sexist bastard. It's it's one of those people that it's like, no, it's always been this way. So it should be this way. And it's like, well, why, why, why? When I was a kid, I remember having distinct thought. If you I've never your titty seen out, if you're cool with it, but if the actress isn't cool with it, then she's clearly not having but, her titty out and, anymore. And yeah, again, like a movie like The Brown Bunny, that is a very conscious artistic decision to include a scene like that for a very specific reason, where she blows a dude. And and like y- y- you know, like maybe we shouldn't say it like that. Kind of weird. Give it a little bit more of, of what they were trying to get to. Consenting, maybe she they were consented dating, to do that. You know, but yeah. I don't know. There's some weird. I think there's weird this going on with that movie and that dude yeah well who who knows man and, know. and maybe the whole point is that they're trying to get us to look at something differently and feel uncomfortable because we 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 think what uncomfortable things should or shouldn't be and maybe sometimes if we reviewed ourselves we would realize that we should be more accepting of of different just different opinions at, yeah. at the simplest of that you know and that kind of ties into everything that's going on right now Oh yeah. So that's why I love. I mean, it's Cancel City, like today, even online. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Happened. Yeah, what the fuck is a groomer? <laughs> yeah, we're learning all of these things. It's like I'm like thinking that you know. It's making everyone go back in their head who's our age and go, "Am I? How? Yeah, I'm all right. I was, I was all right. Yeah, okay." But uh, it's it's a very introspective time, just in general, 2020. Yeah, it, and and you know, I think that that honestly is oh. a good thing for a lot of people. And I'll I'll well, be it's the, the it's the improve it's the constant uh, ascension of society and quality of living for everyone. It's like on the road to uh, utopia. You're never gonna get that. Oh, I'm gonna get it right now. Ooh. But, uh, you know, it's on the road. It's better than it was. It is. Ten and years ago, it'll be better than that in another ten. Yeah. Like, shit looks rough, but, you know, it's teaching this next generation not to make the mistakes 
of the previous. It, and that's what it always is. You that's know, just you, time it, it, as it goes on. I mean, that's what the fuck. You gotta zoom out and look at the big picture. Dog, right? they tried to get you to read The Giver when you were in fucking high school for a reason. The I idea, read, oh. the idea of an, the old old country giving the or not the old country, but the old culture giving the new culture all of the things that worked well. The, the, Maybe this will be a bad analogy, but... Look, Oi, look. give me some information from the old country. Let's, Who's let's, this? What the is that a boat? Who's our friend? No, it's our friend. Hey, what's oh, up? Oh, fuck. Oh, you can't even get in the car? Yeah, oh. he let me in, dude. How the fuck I don't know. homie? Death Flips is down, though. Oh, Death Flips are homie on the chat. Shouts out, Death hey, Flips. Death what's Flips. up, buddy? Wow, your car dude, looks like a sweet of pizza Death pie. Death Flips, you fucking rule, man. Look at this uh, pepperoni mobile. Oh. Uh, oh. Is that allowed? Can I... Fuck yeah. Um, Jesus Christ! This guy, this guy uh, knows what's up. Uh, oh man, I, I lost my train of thought. Your death oh. flips fucking rules, man. What's happening? You mind if I smoke death flips? They don't care. Okay, cool. Digital car. But yeah, I mean, uh, again, it's it's kind of going into this whole idea of of, of media helps you be introspective because you can you can catch different lenses, you can see different worlds. So, sure. Um. I'm vaping right now in his car. Dude. Oh, really? Oh, shit. You actually can smoke? It's an e-cigarette. <laughs> Stupid. No, again, it's it's learning from the past, learning from previous. That's what it was. We were saying learning from the previous generations. Like, your grandparents and your parents, like, you know how sometimes you're talking to them now? I was having this thought uh, yeah. yesterday. Yeah, if they're around. If they're around, if you're talking to your elders, whoever your elders might be who've My been elders. around um, in your life, parent, guardian, Older brother, sister, cousin, um, relation, Mother, daughter, whatever father. it is, whatever it is, um, whatever your relatives are, um, define that how you will. Like, and they've been trying to like give you, you know, you, you feel scared for them. You're like, how are they? They, they, they aren't going to be able to do anything. They, I, you know, I need to look out for them now. Like, you know, you start to kind of parent your parents because. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know more about how. A lot of the world works. There's this, there's this information exchange where they knew how the world works to teach you. Mm -hmm. But at a point, it's not that you surpass them, but you know a different part of the world. Yeah. And how that part works. Yep. So there's that passing down of their information about how parts of the world work. But you now have this vast. Hopefully, if you've yeah. lived, if you've lived a, a life. You have some experiences, and you have a vast breadth of how other things that your parents aren't tuned into. Exactly. Yeah, Specific I, I, examples that only you have experiences for. I totally know what you're saying, Brian. Yeah. I felt that lately. And, and yeah, that happens, I want to say, uh, depending on your relationship with your parents and whatever. But I want to say that'll tend to happen around, like, your late Yeah, you might have got a shitty deck of cards dealt to you. And yeah. Your parents suck so, some and, parents are kids the entire and, time you have them. You might have been very sorry for you. Well, yeah, if you have to raise your parents, it's a different story. That happens pretty frequently, and, right? And, and that happens a lot. And, and that's kind of why I'm bringing this up. I mean, there's movies up. about this. Yeah, you know, dude. Right? That's, I mean, that's that's why I bring it up. They talk about abusive parents. And based I'm like, on something? I'm like, yo, you know, they, they are abusive, but, like, you have to remember that... It, 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 have you seen how a, a child plays with its doll? Like, it's not trying to hurt it, but if you hurt it, it's going to kill you. You know? Like, they're going to kill you. Whatever the child is going to do. Their doll, their toy, their stuffed animal, their prized position. Well, you know? So, you know, girls play nice. Boys a little violent, a little destructive. No, dude. Like, I've seen – I remember playing with girls when I was a kid who would be very, very – like, I got pushed a lot by, by girls more than I got pushed by boys because I was infringing – on their on their space learned oh. a lot it's pretty interesting charles what's up oh interesting did you just raid us home are you being pushed what do you mean you're invading the space oh no just like you Getting know pushed around I, i'd be on the swing they wanted to fucking be on the swing i guess swing pushed off. Oh, okay a little swing yeah action. dude i didn't re also i realize now that's flirting the earliest uh the so. playground you know the earliest yeah. learned lessons of public school absolutely the the beginning of you learning how to interact with other people and that's kind of what high school and all of school really is meant to help you do is learn how to work with different groups of people sure that's yeah, why because it's uh well it, it it allows at least that majority of people to interact with themselves well you know what it it it, it acclimates you to the society that yeah we're kind of living in right now if you go to public school you have a basic understanding not the best 
but how uh, how the United States wants you to function. A little bit, and then you you more than anything you just learn interpersonal but, but skills. But you meet kids, you know. I knew kids. I had friends uh, that went to like uh, religious schools, yeah. or friends that went to home schools and yeah. shit like that. And it was like, wow, this is a whole different way of inter. This is they're socialized to be around oh, a totally yeah. different person that i'm socialized to be around. And, and and when i was young and maybe you know arrogant maybe is what the word would be i'll i'll be fucking you know um oh, give me courageous that. enough i guess to to, Brian, to understand my own arrogance i would no. i would feel bad for those kids you didn't know everything from the day you were born bro no fuck no i mean I, the, the the smartest person knows there's much he does not know oh uh, this is the wise brian <laughs> abu chakra that's uh, a truer statement uh it's a quote from news radio <laughs> No, this sounds like some Buddhist uh, chanting. This it's, is good stuff. It's literally, the, it's the wisest man knows there's much he does not know. Ah. Which is the truth. If you think Thank you, you know sensei. everything, you are stupid. You're stupid as shit. There's so much more you don't fucking know. What's like, that quote about, like, yeah, science, uh, the way that works is, like, the more they discover just opens up more questions yeah i mean do, what what am i stunned by please don't have, get like, run over like phil leotardo did he, did he have like a, a a theft device on his car he where, he might have it shocked me when i tried to steal yeah. it. this random gta member dude they have fucking the ai in this game is super advanced like you've been now now that you've been playing it again yeah like it does not disappoint i want a cruiser dude yeah like i used to drive uh, oh yeah i love these Little Crown Vic around town. When I worked for Thunderworks, we'd, we'd put the new light bars and shotgun locks and all the back end stuff. They'd mm -hmm. get new cruisers and then we'd install all the old electronics in them. I guess there wasn't enough in the budget back then for everything. Yeah. Not not a new light bar or a new backseat. But then uh, sometimes we'd have to go pick up like a 2000, like it would be like a brand new 2004 Crown Victoria from the lot at the sheriff's station or at the yeah. police department and we'd have to drive it back with like um uh the new cars were fine to drive back but if we drove back one of the old squad cars to take all the electronics out and swap them into the new one that crown vic had to have like no forward facing red lights it had to have like uh stickers over the the shield and then i think like a a, a cover over the light bar whoa because you're a civilian driving a, a fucking cop car right but it was still fucking weird drive being on the freeway in a cop car thinking like i could flip the lights on yeah yeah you could i didn't uh, let's see are they gonna let me into the docks no problem i'm a police officer i can go where i want do i have another caller oh yeah there are a bunch of people who want to talk on to that us. discord are we there got... several do we need a lightning round dude let's situation? do we're gonna do bionic uh clinton well let's see if they don't have anything to say it'll be a lightning round Yo, if we've got bionic some theories clan turn... some questions i'm gonna have a a shootout with the police here because there'll be no innocent lives lost this is just you know kind of an unmanned part of the map here oh except for him sorry sir oh that got casualty of war Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. Mm. 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 All right, we're going to try back with Bionic Lantern. Yeah, well, Bionic. Josh69. What up, Josh Mix 669 Josh. Hey, how's how it going? Living? Good, guys, you? Good, man. Life uh, is treating me all right. I can't complain. No, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting jacked, though. These, um... The AI is good, Brian. I'm you, telling you, like... You excited for the PlayStation 5 and the brand new video game, Grand Theft Auto 5? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm really excited. Dude, they though. better oh, have I'm the so fucking cross-platform shit, okay? Because, like, if I genuinely have to buy another copy of GTA 5, keep all the fucking music. No, it's I don't... free. That was the announcement. Oh, was it? It's free. Yeah. Okay. Those bastards would have been a fist in their mouth. I yeah. do. Call us if you need anything. Yeah. I like when... Yeah. You're... Game companies take advantage of the speaker in the, I do too. In the I, controller. I not used a lot to not like it. it. Hey, you, you know, interesting really problem, Josh, and, and maybe you can help us with this too, because I, I know you're a, you're an audio dude. Um, do you ever have it where you know you know how there's sometimes a delay with your visuals and your sound? Mm 
Yeah. And normally it's that you have to delay your visuals. Um, for for whatever TV yeah. processing it's doing, yeah. My sound is... Delayed. Yeah. Okay. Like, so it comes out of the speaker on the phone, and then it, com- it, and then it comes out of the speaker on my TV. On, you just said the phone. Or on the controller. controller. Okay. And, and I'm like... I it, it's reverse. Normally, you have to set it the other way because you have to match your TV. Because, and I think my TV is too fast. Like it refreshes too fast, and there is a desync the opposite way. I don't know, man. Is I this, can't go. How do you know? So how do you know, Josh? So, Josh, gonna, do you have an answer for that? Yeah, Josh, what is he gonna do, bro? I mean, you're an audio guy. Are you... Uh, I don't know. I've always had problems with my controller with connectivity. It All just right. sometimes just never connects. I don't know. Is it PlayStation that you play on? Dude, it's it's everything. I it's a, I think my TV is too good for my receiver. That's that's what I came down to. Is it, it, I have a my TV must be too new for my receiver. It must be. Sounds like a blessed problem. <laughs> must be. Must be. Did the chat uh, help you? Does the chat know? Jo- Josh says the uh, Bluetooth got delay. Uh, it's it, it, it's not bad. No, it's uh, but no, I'm just messing around, Josh. What's uh, what's what can we? Everyone's talking that? about your Bluetooth. How do they know? But- no, doing? look, guys, I've just cons- I've never on normally, so it's a nice surprise to watch this live. Oh, you're having a good time watching the stream? Okay, where are you calling in from? Uh, England. Oh, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. We love it's going England. good at the moment. Yeah, it's going good here. We're on lockdown still. Yeah. My work- and our works are all paying us to be off, so it's we're like summer holiday again. We're- are you getting paid still? Yeah. That's fantastic, man. Okay. Yeah, it's great. It's just hang out all day, and what's it? Last of us is coming out. Roll in. Yeah. I, you know, like here in California, and and at my uh, my little side job, my side hustle, it's all like we're starting to get people back. You know, like people are starting to come back to work. Shit's starting to get like back to normal. But now I'm hearing all these spikes and like everywhere around. Oh boy. Us. So um, it's gonna be. Yeah. Interesting. I think it's like. like- I'm afraid it seems like every man for themselves, though. Like, there's not going to be a second lockdown. No. Yeah. If it spikes out of control again, they're just going to go, hey, floodgates are open. Yeah, y'all deal with it. Well, yeah, fingers crossed. Things are starting to open. Shops, they open this week. Do it safely. McDonald's is still holding out. They've been closed for since the beginning of lockdown. So once they open up, that's... I think that's the all clear for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah play it safer than uh, sorry, because, like, man, if we let all those guinea pigs go and experiment during Memorial Day weekend in, in America, looks like they are all getting fucked over. So. Yeah. Well, safe. fingers crossed. Stay safe. Fingers crossed. I know. There's got to be. There's got to be some big Star Wars uh, Battle of Endor type celebration after all of this. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but we're well, probably not because it'll cause the biggest spike and then we'll no, end up. Well, I mean, once we know we're done, once we're all, once we got that Bill Gates vaccine, uh, once we got uh, every chloroquine uh, hydro cloxacrated into our systems, we'll be just right as rain. We'll be. Uh, oh. We'll be ready to take on the day. Yeah, I'm gonna start taking a mega free. Hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna start taking supplements again. I think that sign said Bristol Coke Storage. Bristol Coke Storage. Yeah. Hmm. The sign where in the game? Uh, yeah, like you see the sign right there. There's so much fucking detail in these games, like you have no idea. <laughs> oh, it does say Coke Storage. Like, there's just so much shit you've never stopped to look at, and that's yeah. why they put first person in this game. Oh, did I pin my shit? Nah, you should be all right. All right they, they, that was one thing they did with this game that was better. Um, somebody earlier asked if uh, you like the driving in four or five more. Oh. I think five was pretty good. Fuck. Oops. <laughs> I need to ditch that pig ride yeah. anyway. Uh, well, hey, thanks for calling in there, Josh. I love hearing from you. Oh, nice one, guys. You take care, now. Take Thank care. Thank you. You take care. Very good call. Josh is just sending posy vibes. Again. Yeah, dude. Now everyone's down. I, you know, I'm into that. Oh, you know what? Can I call... Can you call a taxi? Or can you, like, yeah. spawn your car? Yeah, you... Whoa, Whoa, what the fuck the is that? Shit in RC. That's a weapon. That's an RC, That's a dude. weapon, dude. That's an RC weapon. <laughs> I need to get a gun out. Hold on. I'm, like... <laughs> I'm, like, shaking a finger at him. Where is it? Uh, 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 what is it doing? Uh, uh. 
Uh, get the shoddy. Get the shoddy. He's going to blow me up with it. It doesn't seem Where like it. Where did he go? Seems like he's just driving around. I don't like it. No, Brian, this is dangerous, deadly stuff here. That that car can be packed with a C4. Something bad's going to happen. I just know it. I just know it. I sound like I'm from Philly. Stay away from my statue. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I knocked this fucker. That would have totally pierced the lithium-ion battery. It'd be smoking and sizzling right now. Oh, shit. See, Brian? He's popping. He's popping tags. That was crazy. I've, I've never seen... Uh, the RC car? Yeah, I've never it's seen It's a weapon, weapon. I've never I've never had it. But I, Yeah, there's a lot I've, I've never had. I know I've, of like, it. Like, there's so many weapons in We're this game. We're being hunted. Oh, there he is. Who hunts the hunter? Oh, oh it's Deathflips. Death All right. Deathflips, I'm coming down to you, my bud. Oh, why are you? Why? What's wrong? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh... Oh, is he doing sign language and shit? What the fuck is that? They're oh, doing... he's flipping a coin Yeah, around. they're doing coin flips. That's some weird shit. Hey, let's get a car, Deathflips. Let's get the fuck out of here. We need what to the fuck? Whoa! Deathflips has played a lot of this game. Yeah. Holy shit. What is that? I'm thinking, yeah. I'm trying to run in front of it. Holy Wait, fuck. We're surrounded by barbed wire. I'm going to get on the phone and try to call. Hey, you got some stealth, huh? All right. Stealth, I'll take it. Uh, Retrum, they do still have the flying bike in this game. Oh, yeah, yeah. They got that. Who do you call for the cars to show up? You go, uh... Weather no, mechanic. you... No. Yeah. I think it is. No, you go to your quick menu. Wait. What you need, boss? Some wheels? Yes. Bring them oh. I need my wheels, baby. I mean, there's probably like five ways to do everything. Yeah, you can do the, um... I think they added it later, but, uh... The, that quick menu? Yeah, it's up here? Yeah, there's like spawn car or, or uh... Call your vehicle. Oh. I just fucked up. That's always what I do is I didn't execute and I backed out. So you're saying, let me try it the other way. Out Oop. of the, oops, quick menu. I think you what? just. I bet Deathloops already has a car like spawned here. No, not yet. Is it uh, down? Uh, you gotta hold it. Oh, there's cops shooting him. I don't know why it's not working now. It was the options. Oh, I think you hold the, uh, the, uh, pad. the pad, not the options. Button. Yeah, there it was. And then it's vehicles. Boom. Request. You can't do it though. It's like grayed out. Oh, you, you, but you can uh, check your. You can uh, left and right it. And then one oh. will be not. I don't know, dude. Oh, weird. I don't think I have this. I oh, have to go. Oh, here he is. Here what he the is. fuck? Oh wait, that's a tank. Wow. What the shit? Here, let me actually. Just what die. the fuck? <laughs> Hey, who who put Metal Slug in this game? Who else is uh? What the fuck is this? Who else is on the Discord, Brian? <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is. Let's pretty talk cool. to the Chris Johnson. How you doing? I'm gonna hit X this time. Chris. Hello, hello. Yo, what up, Chris? How you doing? Chris, how is it? How are things? Well, how are you guys doing? We're feeling fine. Finding out new things in this What game. can I do for you? So, um, I was just watching you guys play some GTA, and I, it was making me reminisce of all of the, like, PlayStation 2 Grand Theft Auto games and um, how they had the best cheat codes in them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Che even GTA um, 3, I was all about cheat codes still back then. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was wondering if you guys had any of, like, favorite cheat codes from, like, the... Hmm. I definitely would do... I knew by heart when I was playing GTA 3, mm -hmm. I knew by heart all weapons, all, uh, like, unlimited ammo. Yeah. Uh, or at least, like, 999 ammo and whatever the all weapons code yeah. was. Whatever that was, yeah, yeah. I, I knew that shit by heart. See, and this, then, and this then, is my baby. Bro. Uh, healing the car. This, oh, yeah, healing the car! It was Fuck like, you're right. Right. like I, I can, like, I bet you I'm doing it, but I can't, like, tell you what it is. It was like, L1, R1... Up, down, left, right. Like, it was so, it, like, I don't know. I, I remember being able to do them so fast, too, but now I can't, like, tell you what they are. 
But uh, all three, the trilogy is like eighteen dollars on uh, PlayStation Network right wow, now. Wow, really? So if you want to get GTA, GTA Vice City, and San Andreas, they are all uh, under Very twenty cheap. bucks. Yeah, a fabulous franchise. I mean, the creation, as I'm showing off here, like where you could do all kinds of wacky shit with the emblem customizer for your gangs and like having this on the hood of my car and like letting you pick a a license plate like there's so much this game did right so i get why it's going on three generations yeah and again thank you to sony uh for letting us play with ps5 dev kit uh playstation Shouts 5 out PS5. early hashtag ps5 in the chat thank you uh, guys, if you want to get on this, just go ps5.exe. Click on that link right there. It'll get you. There's no malware. Nothing bad will happen. It's a secret. We have a complete access to. Uh, Chris, you believe us, right? Yeah. We no also. One's... Oh yeah. I mean, I picked it up off the of LimeWire. Yeah. Yep. This is uh, this is actual hardware. We're not showing the pop collar off screen here, but uh, we're just showcasing the software right now. Look at the nails. Look at the the textures. Dude, I'm telling you, like, there's, Broken there's glass. a lot of fucking it's details. The PS5 is going to rock, guys. It's fucking insane. Um, but yeah. Uh, One last call. Ask very excited. Yeah. Uh, Chris, any parting words? Any Anything we can do for you before we let you go? No, um, I just want to say keep it rocking on. I've been a fan of you guys for well over 15 years at this point. So, I mean, uh, I'm hoping you guys keep it rocking and, and I'm, I'm loving the content. Hell I'll, yeah. I'll keep it rocking in the free world. Doot doot loot doot. Doot loot doot doot doot. I'll, I'll just <laughs> I'm gonna start stealing other shows phrases. I mean we do it enough with the Howard Stern. Oh though. yeah. Hit him with the hind Uh One day that'll get us on Stern. No, no, never. I'm resetting my sound effects. I, I went to hit the beep sounds. Oh. Don't even have them right now. That was a great call. Uh, do we want to do more uh, lightning Take round? Another one, yeah. Sure. All him. right. We got him. Let's that was a great him. call. Let's let's try. You know what? I want to talk to Mega Sixty Four Podcom because I want to I want to see what's <laughs> going on there. Yeah. Um, uh, Dylan, I'm absolutely getting The Last of Us too. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think Garrett. I don't know. I just or... pre-ordered it on Amazon like two days ago. Oh yeah. And I got an updated shipping notification. Digital download. It's on my fucking PlayStation already. I'm waiting for that time. But you know, I got so much away. to play right now, man. I mean, I'm oh, still hey, having a blast. Me? Yo, what up, Meta Mega 64? Hello, Podcast. boys. Hello. How you doing? Hello, sir. Hello. Wow. Good. This is my first time watching the stream, actually. Oh, nice, dude. Cool. I'm just ramming and jamming on the pedal, man. I got uh, lead foot. And no yeah, respect. I didn't know people still play GTA 5, man. I, uh, apparently, a lot of people. Do. I got no respect for authority, man. I'm uh, I'm living my dreams. The driving in that game is probably my favorite. Right? It's awesome. maybe any game. Clicks. They it fucking works. They spent a lot of time with the mechanics of this game, and uh, and that's why it's lasted uh, three generations, I think. Look how cool it looks. We have to remember it also came out at the end of the PS3 uh, life cycle, so we knew it was going to come out on PlayStation 4, anyways. And it holds we up. You know? Look at my wheel spinning. I'm totaled. Yeah. What, a, what, sad, a, what sad a sad, what a sad, sad day. But yeah, so uh, Mega Sixty Four Pod coming. It is your first time watching us live, so that means it's your first time calling in. How do you want to make this call? Yeah, you make it. Well, well I was um, I was watching a, a video that Rocco did, did like a, a top ten, two videos of all time or something like that. He compiled a list, you know. And sure. I've seen yeah, people yeah. on YouTube compile compilations of your personal videos. Um, I was thinking, I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever done like a top ten or top fifteen Mega sixty four personal videos. Oh, dude! Wondering I think uh, you guys, uh, Rob Piggott in the what chat. What were your choices? Rob Piggott in the chat did one of mine and Eric's and of yours, Garrett. R Rob made a ton back in the day, and they're still all up on YouTube. Yeah, youtubecom slash Jedi fan, I think. Yeah. Uh, Four, three. I don't one. know. I don't know off the top of my head if I have a favorite. It's weird. Today I was watching Brian uh, perfectly wrapped to uh, Hocus Pocus with Frank. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good. One. <laughs> that's a really good one. Yeah, I miss. Uh, I miss my YouTube uh, inspiration. I used to carry around that little flip camera 
and like film. Yeah, I had little... one of those. Oh, they got so one when great. I was like 13. I started watching you guys. That's... Brought it to like fucking Universal Studios. That was great, man, because that's what kept me going. Uh, that's what kept that channel alive for so long and with, uh, you know, yeah. doing the store for cast. All of us. I think, like, I got a creative outlet. Well, look at that weird frame. I got a creative outlet and went from, like, doing little sketches and stuff, and then the store cast were, like, a little formatted show. Then to live streaming and kind of figuring that out. I mean, that's where I put all my energy now. Uh, yeah, I think the golden age was kind of maybe like 2008, 2013. Yeah. It's so sick that there is like an archive of that shit. Fucking knock on wood. As long as uh, I think it's you know, the best work YouTube. you guys have ever done, to be honest. Our, our I mean, it, it had an impact on me, you know. Wow. 08 personal channels. Well, I'm glad to see most of them still uh, are still up. I know a, a couple of us have deleted some things over the time. Someone was just looking for an Eric video, and it's like. Oh, he wiped his channel, huh? Oh, yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff is definitely better uh, left in our memories than in uh, the public view. Sure, well, uh, yeah, it's again, definitely an edgy time. Going back to what I was saying earlier, uh, growing from using certain phrasing and words and learning why it's insensitive to say certain things is a huge, huge part of being 20 years old. Huge part of being 20 years old. Yeah, that's uh, your training. Hey, you guys have changed so much, it's kind of amazing. Well, I mean, that's that's what should happen, We've right? We've lived, man. Like, uh, uh, exactly. We've Kids lived. have been born and lives have been lived. Yeah. When I started watching your videos, you guys almost behave like sociopathically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's there's also a lot of it's fucking. There's a lot of turning it on for the camera, especially when it's not. Uh, a two-hour live stream thing but it's just like you know this is like gonna be oh someone got their flip cam out this is gonna be a four minute youtube video yeah so like oh uh, yeah a lot of know, it we were very inspired by i'm sure as a lot of uh, our generation was like jackass and the cky videos so specifically for us and we thought we, we were just like tame and totally within our own boundaries mm. compared to cky Hi, am I on the air? You dealing with shit. Fuck. Dealing with shit. Man. No one ever dealt with shit. Talking about jelly. I mean, I showed Derek my balls a couple times, but no one's dealing with shit. Yeah, when you're a kid, you see those videos. You uh, you think that that's the actual people a hundred percent of the time, and you don't realize that it's a camera that we're in front of for maybe five minutes, and it's edited down to show you the funniest, most ridiculous part. In, in the middle of a conversation. I had a sense you guys were playing characters. You know? Oh, yeah, but I, I think I think a lot of times people don't, don't realize know. how far a character truly goes. Well, I don't even know if... The, I don't even think it's a conscious thought of playing a character. Maybe on something like the long form and many years of the podcast as it's developed, you know, like... There's maybe a character role you lean into. But as far as, like, just a YouTube video, I think... It's not so much a character as it is just like you know there's a camera pointed yeah. at you. Just like exactly. you see you see people act in in a different scenario like even in uh, in these protest scenarios like you see people act tough cuz they know they're being filmed. Yeah. Or you see people do a certain uh, like in these Karen exposé videos. <laughs> You see these bitchy women try to act polite, but you can see the demonic grin underneath. Because, like, they know they're on camera, so they're acting different than they normally would. So right. there's, just, there's just something different about when you know that there's a camera recording, yeah. you act differently. No matter what. In our case, for our YouTube channel, uh, it would always be like, try to be funny. I mean, what are we doing here? That's, you know. Yeah, and... It's definitely a. Uh... That was 2008 being funny. Sometimes it's just hitting rock on the ball. Yeah, I mean. The first uh, personal video I ever saw was uh, Derek uh, grinding against uh, Brian through the glass. Oh, straight uh, glass. Yeah. Ah! Straight glass. Walton. Straight glass. Yeah. We love Hi, puns. kids. We love sexual humor, toilet humor, political satire, toilet humor. That's what we're all about. Yeah. It's, you can't uh, get much better than that, man. 
You really can't. I mean, and, and that's kind of, you know, to what you're saying. We, we're kids having fun, right? Like, you give any kids cameras and... Well, there's a freedom to, yeah, like... And, and they're going to have, have fun. the internet. Yeah. It, it was unlimited, well, dude. Well, we didn't know, and especially back then, was the perpetuity of the internet, right? Like, you didn't realize that the stupid videos that you would have probably had the wherewithal to not post had you thought more than oh. a second about it. Which is what it is now. That's a death infraction. You know, sir. you uh, you probably wouldn't have posted it back then, and now that's getting yeah. people all fucked up because they didn't realize that they needed to curate their content a little bit and maybe try to remove some of the shit. Yeah, go back and remove some old uh, shit. You know, and 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 that way you can kind of have the say of like, hey, I recognized it was insensitive, and that's why I took it off the air because yeah. it it didn't need to be out there anymore. But I'm I'm not even talking about. But that. the negativity or perpetuity. I mean, I I'm glad all my shit lasted and it's there forever. Yeah, and like, me too. Uh, I think it was such a great thing to have this new platform like YouTube come out right at the time where it's like the technology got cheap uh, and you had <laughs> access to the internet like you never did before. Like I I finally had like, you know quote-unquote good internet connection you know around that time where the camera technology was fucking cheap the platform I can't was believe new. you guys carried those cameras in your pockets for so many years everywhere oh, just everywhere like oh breaks I oh no! It. It, I mean, those things were. I, I still have it, and it works. It, it's durable. Mine as fuck, does not. They yeah. are, Both of mine are. They dead. are actually. Well, I got. I, I think I got a generation past yours because you got the one right before mine. No, I got the. I got the. I got a first gen, and then I bought Dr. Ryan's old oh, silver right. metal that's one. That's right. You They're did. both. Uh, they you they don't take a charge. They don't take a charge. You know, I could probably buy a aftermarket yeah. battery online. But there's no reason. But, uh, you have three iPhones. You don't need another one. I have them still sitting around, though. And and there's something that is different about... An, I'm going to catch this fucking car. Whether they you like just got to let it die, man. That's well, my, no. that's my stamp on it. There's something about... Having, really recreate that, man. No, no, no. What I'm talking about... No, I'm not posting... I put my energy, like I said, into the PPS now. Exactly. Well, you found, you found the if, better if you, outlet. If, if you... Uh, Respect. Right, right. But... Uh, my, my point is, there is something about having a separate device that is just for recording videos. And the physicality of feeling it tactile in your pocket that you go, oh yeah, we're fucking around with Sean right now, get your camera out. Mm. Boom, and you're filming. And that's its sole purpose, and you use it yeah. for that. It's like, we've talked about this before. You know, a camera is just something my phone also does. And I utilize it for video content when I need to make stuff now. Stuff for the show, stuff for the PPS. Um, but I almost, like, use it in a different way. Whereas the camcorder-style videos, the home movie-style videos of our personal channel, I think came from it being an external home video-style camera. Where it was a separate device than the phone. Yeah. That's that's all I wanted to get out. Oh, I see. I and and I do I do also miss that, and I do like having. That's why I still have my flip, of of like, and I have two fucking GoPros, so I don't know why, but like, there's something about that flip video and that, and having the ability. I think it's you know what I think it is. <laughs> it's it's a it's discreet. If you see it, you kind of don't know what it At is. At this still. point, too, yeah. People you know, are like, like, what the fuck is that? You, People are used thank to a phone. People are, but if shit's going down, like if some shit's going down and I need to film it, um, I can record it on that, set it up, walk away. It's got a wide angle for fucking wide shit, dude. And I can, you know, s capture anything that needs to happen if like some sh some fucking nefarious shit's going down. I uh, there was a <laughs> there was a crazy situation going on outside uh, last week, and I discreetly needed to film something. And yeah, it's like. I fumbled around trying to get the camera open on my phone, and I got, like, a shitty recording of it. Yeah, there's also that. It, and when we had the flips, it was like, we were using them every day. We were meeting up every day. It was, like, so perfect to just pull out. I would catch so much. There's so much crazy just homeless person shit oh, man. on my that's, account. That's so, yeah. I would say maybe the McRascal. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and some of the other videos that are the old. There's, like, a lot of shit on my account that's just fucking me encountering homeless people within the wild and, uh, rascal. and when they were fucking with me yeah. i would film it yeah i dropped a link to it in the 
Yeah. Uh, no? You know, I don't know if I want to promote it. Okay. As hard as dropping a link, Brian, but... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't, yeah. Um, you know, but, but like, there's a lot of different interactions yeah. where I was taking the merch around at night, and it would be like, some guy started yelling <laughs> at me, and I would just, like, pull my flip out real quick, get it out, and be filming him, and talk to the guy, and be like... Try to defuse the situation, but also, like, eh, let me lean in and make this little funny video. So maybe that isn't how I would act normally, but I know, like, the camera changes it. It even, does. Even from the perspective where I'm filming. Yeah, no, it, it gives you a weird... the human interaction. Yeah, you're you're almost, instead of, like, being a human, you're you're trying to document the situation, but you're... This is my last stand, Brian. I'm going to yeah. take it. It, it, it's a very strange place to be because you kind of almost forget that, that there are people involved and you start to only look at the bits, you know, and like the objectivity of, sure. oh, how this could be funny. And I remember that was kind of why I stopped doing as many per, uh, personal channel videos because some of them were just like, look at this weird person. And I'm like, oh, oh that's... dude, I make fun of a mm. memorial of a dead kid on the back of someone's car on a video. Oh, my God. <laughs> But I just, just, I'm like, what? it was just a blown up image of a like little boy's face, and I'm like, yeah. oh, there's a timeline. Oh, I thought I was filming a video like this is funny. Look at this boy. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, there's a timeline. Oh, did he die? Oh my god. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Take that down. But again, I mean, again, I don't know. we don't. When at that point. We didn't know what tool we had. We didn't know the internet well, was going to be as big line, as it is, you're right? Learning where the line is, you know, and you're going to have to yeah. constantly, you're going to have to constantly go in and tune it up. And I just joke like I should take that down, but like within the next fucking year, or so yeah, maybe I should, you know, because uh, yeah, you walk it back when you find the line, and when you're trying to do this comedy thing online, which is just weird even saying, but I mean, what are we doing here at Mega Sixty yeah. Four? Uh, you, especially in the early internet, man, you gotta push that fucking line. You gotta find yeah, that line. You gotta find the line. When you're young, you don't know. Again, and this is why this is why media companies are the ones who normally take care of this shit. It's because they know how far their boundary is. As crazy oh, and as sniper. like you know controlled as that sounds, and like I'm not talking about censorship and unifying media, but people in media know the language of it know what people can misconstrue and they're very pointed with what they say if you give somebody a camera and you get a you know person who gets famous off of dr phil their their fame and their ability to handle everybody looking at them may not be sufficient you know they may not be able to deal look at all these child stars with what it's like to constantly have everybody scrutinizing you as if you were an adult you know and that's that's the hard Isn't part Who's the latest to get all screwed? Justin uh, Bieber's pretty screwed just, up, Justin right? Justin Bieber's doing all right now. Uh, he got all into so – he got he some, got, like, personal pastor hooking up with him, right? Uh, I don't even camps. know, man. I girl went to rehab. Yeah, I don't know, but, well, like – going to rehab's cool. You know, yeah. that's getting your shit together. What is this? Jump? Yeah. What is I, this? I mean, I think, I think it's really just about making sure that what uh, what you're doing – what the fuck? I don't know. Oh, dude. oh, somebody is doing a um, – Getting in. Is this death flips? This is uh this Death is from Wars. doing one of the missions. Oh yeah, it must be some I don't know. It yeah, cool. it's it's a uh, It's a stage. Oh, it's a fucking rock stage. Yeah, you you steal it from a music festival. Oh, that's cool. It's really cool. I was going to say this looks like a music festival. It looks like uh, Burning Man shit. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> But yeah, it's We're just going to let homie drive us around for a sec. But uh That's a good call. Yeah. Thanks Pod come. I wanted to ask you guys. Sure. Yeah. Uh, was that you in the Doug Benson movie? Cine Which one? Super High Me 2 or? Oh, it was, uh, it was, it was a new one he did. It was like, uh, or 20, a new dope or whatever. He's, <laughs> he's like doing stand up. Your front audience, the front seat. Am I watch really? Him do stand -up. Uh, yeah, if it was at the American Comedy Club or the. It was in no, San I've Diego. Seen, was yeah, I've seen here. it. Uh, I didn't. This is are news, you? Did this you, is news to me. I didn't hear this either. Uh, oh yeah, back. Yeah, you're I, in the final cut of the movie. Is on that. Oh, I gotta check that out. I've like, seen like Doug's first... 420 and New Dope or something. Yeah, I've seen Doug's like first two movies under the same premise, and it was like I don't know if I need a third one about smoking weed. It's like enough, Doug. <laughs> but I I was sitting front row at a couple comedy shows, uh, around the time Comic Con came. To town, all of the uh, 
internet podcaster comics would come to that American Comedy Co. Oh. So that that's that's uh, funny that I made it in. I should check that out. Because I would always go solo. Yeah. I was single then, and I was like uh, all about going to comedy clubs and Tinder. <laughs> we would see that guy at Comic Con every fucking year. Yeah, Doug's cool. Doug would come by the booth he's a, and like he's nice. talk to the guys. Like a, he's he's like 90 years old. Wow. Trish still listens to Doug Loves Movies. I'm like, I've put in like three years of that podcast, but <laughs> she still listens all the fucking time. I was amazed. Uh, well, yeah. Thanks for calling in, brother. We'll see you soon. Yeah, hey. It's uh, good to talk to you guys. I'm glad you're good watching easy. the show. I'm glad you're digging it. Peace. Thank you. Big dude. Big dude. Peace. Good ass call. Uh, yeah, it is. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a good ass show. I mean, it's not do, even over do, yet. Do, 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 do. How are we doing so far? I'm gonna take a quick commercial break. Brrrr. Coming back. <clears throat> Coming back. It's not even over. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay, um, we seem to have made a new friend here. I don't know who the guy uh, with the pineapple SpongeBob Whoa. Kind of thing going on is. Am I driving now? Oh, this is nice. Sweet. All right. Oh, wait. He set a waypoint. Maybe we should do that. I'm down for anything, you know? Oh, this yeah. has got a tank tread kind of motif? What the fuck? I didn't even realize oh, that. Oh, my. That could be, God. That could be bad. All right. Let's head to the... All terrain here. Let's head to the destination. Uh, you know, the PPS, we always stream in 720p. We like to keep our file sizes down and our streams smooth for mobile users. Doesn't that sound like marketing shit that I just made up off the top of my head? No. Um, well, it is. <laughs> I want to say that even for 720p, this PlayStation 5, Whoa. GTA 5, New Blood is really breathing new blood into the franchise for me. I can't get enough. Um, enough of the police, the action here. I'm taking names. I want to get my goddamn car back is what I want. Hell call, yeah, dude. Should call my, uh, move it, Baldy. Oh, you dare waste me? I gotta take a call now, Brian. All right. It's gonna be Bio Bionic Bionic Lantern. What up? I'm warning you. Peace and love. Bionic. Shut the fuck up. That's it. No, he lost it. Oh no. Bionic. He lost it. Alright, now I get to uh check let's, your let's, input. Let's see what the story mode's all about. We've had fun with death. Okay. Thank you, Death Flips. I appreciate all the you know, hubbub. Is that right? Sure. I don't think I'm using that right. Uh let's look to the IRL chat. Who do we go with? Which character? Michael, Franklin, or is it Trav? Who? The, what the? What's the tweaker's name? Uh, Travis. Is it Travis? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If anyone wants to spin the wheel, Doctor Ryan, you got it right. Um, but they gotta call in and say that. That's Michael right. all day, germ all boy right. one. I made some Italian stereotypical comments earlier. Maybe Trevor. Not Travis. Trevor, that's right. Same shit. Hey, Trevor. Trevor, I forget, but I started playing again, and Trevor's, like, little assistant is that Juggalo dude. It's great, dude. <laughs> he's so got, fucking funny. He's got my hair. It's fucking great. It's fucking awesome. All right, Brian, let's... you know, I noticed there's a new, there's, like, a dust cover over the DJ set. Yeah, I saw that. Here. Did you I, see that? Yeah, I was wondering what that was about. Let me explain uh, what this is about. Yeah, this check is this about... Out. A badass what comforter set that uh, Trish and I had on our our 
bed at one point. We ordered from China uh, <laughs> on Wish a mattress, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? A comforter, what goes on top. Okay. And it was just a big pillowcase. Oh, you got a duvet and you didn't we, know that. We didn't know. Or oh. it was on Wish. And look, this wasn't my thing. I'm not throwing her under the bus. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I'm just saying Elon didn't pick the name for that kid either. So. <laughs> All right, we do have Dr. I, Ryan I calling. know what a duvet is. Uh, Apparently she didn't. I, I don't know. I don't know if it said duvet. I don't use Wish. But I'm all about her using Wish. What up, Dr. Ryan? Hey, hey, go back to that duvet really quick. Why? Just just look at the duvet. I've moved on, but and I'm oh. sitting back down with the controller in my hand as okay. Michael, and the show is progressing. This was, this was a bit so you would show the wheel so I could say spin the wheel. Oh, it's well, I can right do there. it. I can't. Jeez, bro. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's show feet. Next caller. Okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's not a joke. You you I want to see your feet right now. You sound so defeated. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's give Ryan a proper uh, wheel spin. But oh, other okay. than that, how are you, man? Hey, I man, I'm good. I see uh, streaming every now and then. Every yeah, Monday. Yeah, dude. I stream every Mondays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., and that's it. I'll never stream at any other time. Don't Only do that it. I, I hold steadfast to the Wednesday at 7 p.m. Never change time slot. Nope. That's the brilliance I, of, of I being I saw your a, brilliance and I stole it. That's good. No, it's all... It's all uh, open source. Open sourced is exactly right, Brian. That's a good... Hey. Oh, that's a good... Uh, yeah, hot mic. I don't know what's going on today. I don't know. I'm try, I hot keep trying mic. to cover it when I... Uh, Burp or yawn. I'm trying all kinds of new things, but uh, Brian, I went right to you for the drink of water. That's I'm, fine. Sorry, it's a weird journalism I'm into. Gonzo journalism. Oh. <laughs> okay, here spin we go. Spin that wheel. Ready, Ooh, spin the wheel. So bad I want to see the wheel spin. Okay, I'm going to catch that timpani. Hold on. I got it. No. Yeah! Oh my god! I love when it's show feet. I called I it. I want to see him. I called it earlier, I guess. Uh, Jinx the whole fucking oh, thing. Yes. Get your feet out, Garrett. Get your feet out, Garrett. Let me see them feet. Fucking degrading, man. Ooh, ooh, oh, it Garrett. smells. You wanna see them toes? Ooh, ooh, Garrett. I wanna see them toes. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, what Just is that? Oh, there's something. Some, there's fuzz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's fuzz. Oh, oh. yeah. Not oh, fuzz. I got. <gasps> All right, it's no deergasm, but you got feet, Brian. Uh, Ryan. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> smells like a cheese sandwich. Mm. What's that line in The Sopranos? Uh, <laughs> if I want cheese on the floor, I'll have cheese on the floor. <laughs> I, want, I don't remember the rest. I don't remember what the fucking context is. is. The Sopranos has been brought up a lot lately. We're playing now Again, as, a, as a, a, a gangster type character here. Me and Brian, by the way, I just want to point out, we just kept our feet uh, out. We just oh, decided dude, I to keep I our shoes been wearing, and socks off. I, 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 the moment it gets warm enough, like when it stops raining and it's warm enough, I, I switch to flip-flops. I I'm, luckily showered right before. I usually I, shower in between uh, my other job and, and coming to the that's PPS. That's, Wednesdays are my long day. Yeah. So <clears throat> I use that time to decompress, think of what game I'm playing. That's how I came up with this, Ryan. That's a good idea, dude. Are you excited? Uh, did is he still here? Or we lost no, Ryan? That dude, he got what he wanted. He oh wanted shit! I was gonna ask him if he was excited for GTA on the PS5. He probably is. Well, no, you know what? Uh, he used he, to play he, with us back in the day. He did, but he, he doesn't play Rockstar games because you can't platinum. You can't platinum them. You without doing online shit and it, like online platinums. Oh, dude, just do the online shit. It's apparently some of them are like. 
so tedious it, it just sucks the joy out of his experience. Well, if you're not having fun, then don't do it. Yeah, exactly. So you're right about that. Uh, is this stuff that I can do with him? Mm, Looks like yeah. Is he? I forget you what can his also color. Do, like, bounty hunter. I forget stuff. what his color is. I think. Um, who are you? Michael's you're blue. Trevor? No, I'm Michael. Oh they yeah, wanted, that was the first blue. one I saw. Yeah, he's blue. Michael's blue, so I think I have to do Trevor shit. Um, I thought I and saw Franklin's something blue on the orange. I might yeah. be I might be at a point in the game where that's yeah. the case. It looks like you have to do either uh, Trevor or um, Franklin. Trevor's Franklin. orange, so mm-hmm. I didn't know I was recording footage. That's weird. There's some pop up. Oh, for your social club thing? Yeah. yeah that's well, automated shit. There's added stuff like that they... There's like in-game recording and yeah, stuff yeah. that you can do with the... the Instant replay shit. Like, yeah. Or action replay shit. So you Never can... Fuck <laughs> <with that. laughs> you, like, you like his outfit? Yeah. I, he, like his I love his too. fucking haircut, dude. I gave him... Yeah, I gave him a, fuck a new Fuck yeah, do. dude. Whenever I start playing again, I start updating and giving him new, new cuts. Hell yes. All right, so we're going to head over with our homeboy. I like, too, he keeps joking about how he does meth. Yeah. That is so funny to me because it's not a joke. No, he does meth. Yeah, it's just so on the fucking nose. This game is really... They nailed it, man. It's so... It's... Ah, it's funny. And, and like, funny. yeah, you think you think it looks really good. Uh, it's a funny little uh, magnifying glass of the extremes of, in society. Oh, especially in there that time. There are people that aren't too far from these fucking no. characters. No. GTA really has done a great job of uh, encapsulating that time period of this world, of our world. It's a bit of an exaggeration for sure. Oh, but, it's, a, it's an extreme in, in, yeah. But, I mean, the day-to-day shit, like this shit, just driving around, you could drive around this game totally legally, hold a job, play it like normal, and... What's that thing called where people do that? Uh, they play GTA Online, like, roleplay. GTA oh. Online roleplay? Okay. And they play this game, these servers, probably PC mods and shit. Sure, sure. But they just, like, they will dress up like the police and then at, and take on, like, the role of the police. And then there'll be guys that dress up like trash men and they go deliver trash or whatever. Yeah. And they're like voice chatting each other like, sir, you know, put down the gun, da 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 Like, sir, they'll, they'll really like role play because they're all on voice chat, like what's happening. Yeah. And Death Flips actually just posted something really, uh, Who's that? really important. Um, also, shouts out, uh, they've been a, a founding member of a, a or a founding subscriber 38 Found? months what does that mean that means they've they've been one of the first subscribers to the uh, mega 64 podcast twitch oh, channel 30 Your grandfathered in eight baby. months so uh, uh dan hauser said in an interview that it would be hard to make gta 6 now because so much of the stuff they joke about is actually happening who's dan I mean, hauser i think he's a, he's in charge of uh rockstar um ah. but like yeah oh, i is mean that, is that the excuse they're giving for like no i why they still supported one game for the last seven I, years. I think it's because this game, it, like, evolved with the time, and they didn't need to release a whole new game from it. Or maybe they have bigger aspirations that's for... Oh, uh, with him? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Again, maybe that's all they, um, you know, they could do right now for this generation of systems, and GTA 6 is still being developed on. But, I mean, uh, again, there's so much to do here that I never really felt like... Yeah, I'd like more story. I've still never beaten the goddamn story. Yeah. I've still never beaten it. That's why, like, we're playing my most recent game save right now. I'm doing missions I've never done before, and I'm further than I've been, but, like, I've restarted this game several times, but never actually finished it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's one of these things, like Metal Gear, like, I like coming back to it. And if it keeps being supported, then that's awesome. Yeah. I don't really play anything outside of this. I think I've talked about that before on the show where outside of this, and I didn't even think of it at the time, I don't play anything that's, like, popular and supported. Like, even Splatoon 2, like, they stopped doing uh, Splatfest. Splatfest. They brought one back, and that was cool. But, like, I don't think there's another one planned. I don't know. And I'm not that big into that game. It's, like, all the games I would like to be big into, they don't get supported that well. No. I... I think uh, I think this game is very well supported. It's a game that a lot of people have forgotten about. 
Um, I really, really suggest more people like yourself go and look at the online and see what's available there. While there have been some horror stories of griefing... Well, did we get fucked with that bad? Not even. We that's, found a uh, friend. You're exa exactly what I was going to say. More often than not, somebody on your friends list is just happy to see somebody else on GTA Online. And you guys end up doing some fun shit together. I've been playing with Jasmine. I've, met, I've mentioned it several times that's here. That's crazy, yeah. I didn't know you guys were playing again, Oh, dude, too. That, and that's or why... We I, did talk about that's, that. That's kind of, I think, uh, you know, probably the original... Uh, why, why Twilight wanted to play yeah. it. Because she keeps seeing you. She lurks at you online. I know, because she always tells me how much she wants to blow me. I and know, like, and you're like, I'm playing GTA with my I'm, girlfriend, I'm Jasmine. I'm playing with Jasmine. Stay the fuck away, Twilight. Yeah, like, I, I don't need no blue hairs anywhere near me. No, you don't want Young to. or old, and, uh... Blue hairs. Oh, like the old lady blue... That's a good... <laughs> that's a good pun. Good. Thank you. I, I, I knew blue if anyone hairs. got it, you'd get it. You know, and it's so funny. Like, you just think of the mom <laughs> in a clockwork orange, and you're like, yeah, back in the day, like, old ladies would dye their fucking hair blue. It would it would fade. Their black hair would, like, fade, and it blue would be hair. blue hair. It was fucking but great. Then they didn't also, have toner either. What's up with the 70s, like, uh, posh women in the UK would dye their hair, like, wild pastel colors? Oh, dude, that was just kind of like the uh, artsy, fartsy, artsy women. fartsy, Andy Warhol. Those like. were the explorers and the Bowies of the world back uh, then. Yeah, I think those were also, um, you know, you have to remember that a lot of, a lot of pop culture is always going to be shown through the lens of the... Uh, uh, of, the the adverti of the advertiser who wanted you to buy something. So you're going to look at like old print ads and pictures and whatever, and you're going to see not what people actually dress like, but what they wanted people to buy and yeah. what they wanted people to look like. So, right? Like, so some of these artsy, Whoa. I do that all the time too, Whoa. right? That finger it. We almost played Doom 64 today, guys. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. I find I had to like write letters to Amazon <laughs> emails. I mean, oh, because they didn't fucking send you your free code. No, thing. but we got it. Next oh couple weeks, God. we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> Coming um, up on the end of the show now. It's also five bucks. So if you didn't pre-order it with Doom Eternal, it's I five was being bucks. a whiny baby. It was the beginning of oh, COVID. Oh no, for you, they screwed you. You got to get your fucking. Shit. I was. It was a matter of the fact. Yeah. That's why I waited. Yes, I absolutely. Didn't need to play it yet. No, for those for but for those who didn't buy Doom Eternal, it's only five bucks. So I suggest getting it. Um, oh yeah, and, and it is perfect. It runs perfect. You can map the controls. Did you fuck around with all the different? I just played like the first three levels because this is brand new to me. I'd never played me Doom sixty four. I didn't have it. Me neither. And uh, I was just having fun, like going through. I think levels one and two, and then um, figuring out, you know all the different animations that they gave and all the different designs that they gave each demon. It's like, this is kind of close. I can see how this looks like an imp and this looks like a caca demon. Yeah. I don't think I encountered him yet. Oh, here's the ramp over there. It's like, I want to go to the top of this to hit the ramp, but my car might blow up in a second. How long can I stay on fire, Brian? Uh... We'll find out. We'll find oh, out real quick. Oh, shit. Fuck it, there's a horse in the hospital. Oh, Oh shit, he's dead! Fuck! <laughs> we made it. Oh, here. Bail. I know how to help it. Um, I, we can answer this question real easily. It will stay... Oh, I have all these guns now. Look at that. It'll stay on fire until I do this. And now... I think... Oh, you should use a repellent. Finite. What do you mean, repellent? Uh, uh, what's it called? The coolant spray. That's what I meant. Oh, from, do I have that? From Metal Gear. Oh. <laughs> I hated that in MGS2, having to use the coolant spray. Oh, my that God. That fucking bothered me. Why are there too many Jeeps? All what the, the car. fuck? Let's make a hole, people. Let's make a hole. Okay? Beat their fucking ass. Let's get it done, guys. Make a hole, people. Can you imagine I'm being a psychopath? Oof. Oh! Oh! Oh, these guys got guns back. Dude. They're like... I like them. Second Amendment boys are like fighting for their right. Alright, you... Oh, yeah. Out. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, shit. Okay, how many stars did we get up to? Just three stars for that. Yeah. I thought that'd be a fourth star offense. We got the chopper in the air. 
Let's do the getaway style cam to keep it interesting. Oh, not the fence. He's he's boxed in by the fence. Oh, this will be the end of him. Oh. Uh, is that like the Korean bell? The Korean bell on the scene reporting live. The suspect has just gotten out of the hospital. Seems to be in poor condition. Oh, he's running. <clears throat> he's drawing a weapon again. Uh, oh, he's out of ammo. He seems Shit. to be. He seems to be intimidating a Tesla. Chopper five here. Um, oh, sadly, it's worked. They've gotten out of the car now. See if I can get a lock on him. Brian, back in the studio to you. Whoa. Well, it looks like he's just barreling down the, uh, the road here with careless disregard for uh, other pedestrians. Obviously with no sense of urgency on uh, whether or not he's being caught. Now just barreling through a, uh, looks like a post stand or newspaper stand oh, there. Oh, man. Brian, he seems to be, we're covering this from a ground angle here. We've got lots of damage to the surrounding area, lots of damage to uh, everyone on the road here. Not a police officer at sight. Whoa! Oh, oh, Brian, he's ejected himself from the vehicle. He's ejected himself. I can't believe he's standing up right immediately after that. Uh, now, uh, Brian, looks like he's pulled out something and Brian, uh, he's thrown it on the ground. And he's, he seems to Oh my god, oh. folks, I'm so sorry you had to see that. We gotta cut away to commercial. Thanks so much. Folks, so sorry you had to see that violence. Thankfully, we sure do love thankfully you. Thankfully, it wasn't a police officer that caused this person's death for once. He took himself out the game. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time. Brother. I grabbed one into the social bombing hot Cheetos that was 99 cents. What? Hot Cheetos. <laughs> Hope you like this. Make sure you subscribe or comment. You know, this was up. Please comment, 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 comment. Thank you.